Hello everyone, welcome on Devish Tech channel. In the last video of this series, we started the work of the Flutter Chat UI creation where we added the app bar and we also added the this tab bar. If you didn't watch that video, then you can find the first video link on the description. In this video, we are going to move forward and we are going to start working on the menu button where we are going to add this menu over here a person will click on the menu button then overlay will come and where we will show the multiple option also we are going to add the chat floating action button over here in our chat app so please watch the video till the last to get the more idea about it and before i will start please make sure to subscribe this channel and also like the video and share the video to your friends and i wish you a Merry Christmas. So let's start the work. In the last video, we added the two icon button here. So I'm just going to remove this icon button because we don't need it. Instead of that, we are going to use the pop menu button. And the pop menu button will have the generic of the string now in the pop menu button we have the parameter called item builder instead of returning a null i am going to return a method which will take a build context and the parameter name will be context and it will going to return a method which will going to return a list and i just did the mistake of the return keyword and inside the list it will going to return a menu item okay so the first pop menu item will have the two parameter one is child and second one is the value so in our whatsapp we have the five menu item so the first menu item name is the new group so let me just create a menu item of the new group and and i have to provide the second parameter value the value should be same as we have here so i'm going to assign the value over here and I, I add the comma and I'm just going to copy it because we have to add the five pop menu item. The second menu item, the name of the second menu item will be new broadcast. Broadcast. And I'm going to add this thing over here. Then the third menu item name is the WhatsApp web. I'm just making the UI same as the WhatsApp. That's why I'm just following the sequence as we have in our WhatsApp. So let me add it over here, the WhatsApp web. WhatsApp web. And the fourth menu item have the start message. So let me add the start message. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to just paste it over here. And the last menu item name is the settings. So let me add the settings. Settings and I'm going to add it over here and I'm going to hit the save to see the changes after hitting the save and after hit uh, after doing the hard reload if I will click on this button then you can see that now we have the overlay of the all the menu item the new group one new broadcast whatsapp wave start message and settings now the pop menu button also have a additional parameter 
which is the on select so let me add it so i'm just going to add the comma just after this because i just wanted to format hit the save and just above the item builder i'm going to add another parameter called on selected on selected will return a method a method will take a parameter called value so as of now we are not going to do anything i'm just going to print the value when a person will click on the any of the menu button i mean menu item then this on select method will be called and the value of the this thing will be printed over here so if i will hit the save and if i will open the terminal so if i will click on a setting then you can see that we are able to see these settings also if i will click on a new broadcast then here the new broadcasts are printed basically in a whatsapp when we click on a new group then whatsapp give a new page where we have to select the multiple user to create a new group same for the broadcast for the whatsapp web we go on a new page the same kind of functionality we have to do on our chat ui as well so that's why i am using the pop menu button now the second task is to give a floating action button over here so let's work on it for that we have to create a new page because the chat button if you see that it's in the chats page only so first we need to create a chat page so let me create a new folder the folder name will be page and here i'm going to create a new file that will be a chat page dot dot basically in a tab bar if you go that in a tab bar we have the four options that chat status call and the camera icon and here in the tab bar view we are just returning a text right now we are not returning any kind of pages so instead of returning a text we have to return a separate page for the each of the tabs so let's work on the chat page first let me import the material dot dot package after importing the material dot dot package i'm going to create a stateful widget the name of the stateful widget will be chat page and here instead of returning a container i'm going to return a scaffold okay so let me just return this thing and assign this chat page on our tab bar view i'm not changing anything on the this three thing i mean three tab right now i'm just changing the chat page only so here instead of giving the text i'm just going to return a chat page widget which we created right now and if i will hit the save so see if i will click on a chat there then there is nothing and if i will go on a status then we are just printing the a text so let's work on the chat page here in the chat page i'm just returning a empty scaffold instead of returning a empty scaffold and i'm just going to use the floating action button and the floating action button parameter will have the floating action button widget and inside the floating action button widget we have the on press parameter where i'm just returning a empty method and here we have a child parameter inside the child parameter i'm going to return a icon and the icon name will be icons dot chat so let me hit the save and see the changes here you can see that now we added the chat button over here so our purpose of the two thing the first thing for the menu button and second thing for the chat button is completed i just wanted to change the underline color of the tabs because it's not looking good so if i will go on a home screen inside the tab bar we have a additional parameter called indicator color so let's use that thing so indicator color 
what will be the color colors dot white and i'm going to hit the save and now you can see the indicator color over here now it's same looking as the whatsapp app you can see it now the purpose of the video is completed let's meet on our next video but before that don't forget to subscribe like and share the video because your one subscribe share will motivate me always thank you all happy coding and again i wish you a merry christmas